Okay, welcome to the high frequency words for the Renaissance and Reformation. These will be the important content specific words that you need to focus on for this class. Alright, the first word that we are dealing with, and if you see these images popping up, they are the images dealing with the Renaissance. The Renaissance is our first, first word. It is a rebirth. This is the period that we, you studied at the end of World World One, when Europe began a period of rebirth in the learning and the arts. Some of the key figures of the Renaissance are Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, you have uh, some scientists here with Copernicus, Elizabeth I in England uh, was a big supporter, Shakespeare, those people come out. A lot of it comes uh, from the learning and the rebirth um, and relearning of, of Greek and Roman um, scholarship. Our next word that comes out, one of the focuses of the Renaissance was on this secularism. Secularism, if you look at these images, none of them are religious images. Secular means not religious. Our next word is humanism. Humanism is a belief that develops out, out during the Renaissance. It's a movement in the Renaissance, and if you notice, it is focusing on the study of human values and concerns, a movement away from religious forces. The idea that we need to uh, focus more on human beings today, the individual, as opposed to what comes after. Our next word that we will be doing is a dissenter. And a dissenter, I hope you take a minute to look at these um, comics on dissension. Dissenter is anyone who disagrees with a belief or an idea. For example, if school starts at 720 and you come in every day at 730, you're dissenting against the rules. So you are going against a belief and as dissenter is a person who goes against a belief. The next vocabulary word we have is Martin Luther. Martin Luther will be the man credited with starting the Protestant Reformation. He is the creator of the Lutheran Church. He, like I said, starts the Protestant Reformation. He is a Catholic monk who breaks with the Catholic Church. He will be fighting against some ideas of the Catholic Church primarily the sale of indulgences. Indulgences are another word, another high frequency word we will be using. I have this get out of jail for a free. What the indulgences were is get into heaven for a fee. The idea the Catholic Church was selling these indulgences that you could pay and your relatives would, the church would say, this would guarantee them into heaven. Martin Luther did not think that that was the way you got into heaven. Martin Luther believed in something called justification by faith. If you believe in God, you will go to heaven. That is Martin, Martin, Luther, Martin Luther's belief. If you believe in God, it doesn't matter what else happens, you just have to believe in God and you will go to heaven. Justification by faith, also sometimes uh, referred to as salvation by faith. Protestant, any Christian who is not Catholic is a Protestant. And examples of some Protestant churches today are Lutheran, which Martin Luther founded, Baptist, uh, Presbyterian, these are just, Methodists are some of your Protestant faiths. So any Christian, not Catholic. Our next word is the Reformation, the unit that we are studying. The Reformation, you see, begins basically with Martin Luther nailing the 95 Theses to the church door in Wittenberg. And the Protestant Reformation was a period when the Catholic Church is going to split and the Catholic Church will be broken apart and you're going to get the formation, as we said before, of these Protestant churches. So those churches that are not Catholic. That is the Reformation, that period of time when Christianity will split into many different forms. 
Our next uh, Reformation leader is John Calvin. He will carry the Reformation after Martin Luther dies. However, he will not believe in justification faith by faith. He will believe in something called predestination. Predestination is God determines what you would already do. It's kind of like this idea of fate. Think about it, if I were to win the lottery, if I'm predestined, doesn't matter what day I buy that ticket, the day that I buy the ticket, I'm going to win the lottery. It's just fate. I like this John um, Calvin and Hobbes comic talking about predestiny. It's inevitable. If God chooses predestination, if God chooses you to go to heaven, you will go to heaven no matter what. And that's going to be a basic belief um, of John Calvin, that predestination. John Calvin will set up a theocracy in Switzerland. A theocracy is, a, is when the government and the church are the same. We tend to think today that Iran is a theocracy. Vatican City is the perfect example of a modern uh, theocracy because in the Vatican City, the Pope is the leader of the country and he's the religious leader. So a theocracy is a church-run state. The church and uh, government are the same. We have religious toleration. This is the primary example of religious toleration. It's anybody can practice any faith. It doesn't matter. Any religion, any faith is, uh, is religious toleration. The following image is the exact opposite of religious toleration. So this Part of the left-hand side is an example of religious toleration, allowing anybody to practice any religion that they want. And this one I thought was a perfect example of not religious toleration. And one of the first documents in the Western world of religious toleration is the Edict of Nantes, which occurs in France when you have Huguenots who are French Protestants. They are, pre they are being... Um, they are fighting for their right to practice their religion. So the Edict of Nantes allowed a Huguenot, which is a French Protestant, to practice their faith in France. It was signed by the King of France. And again, the Edict of Nantes is one of the earliest examples in the Western world of religious toleration, with French Protestants being the minority allowed to practice their faith in Catholic France. The, um, what I'd like you to do now is go through, I have some questions for you to answer, and that will be your homework, completing the form that goes along with this. Thank you.